Thank you for joining us today. My name is Roger from CableGiant.com. We're here today to introduce a new double bubble compression connector and show you how to install it. But first of all, let me uh, give you a couple reasons why we like this connector. This is the perfect upgrade from all of you who are used to using a crimp connector. This crimp compression connector is the only connector on the market today that has a pure 360 degree uh, bond to the cable, which I'll show you when we install it. It also grabs the connector in two places, one on the end of the cable where the, uh, the center connector is exposed. There's an internal furrow that grabs when you compress it. Then also the back of the connector secures the back of the cable, uh, actually conforming a double bubble connection. This eliminates moisture. It's a lot easier to train somebody to install it, and it's going to last for a long time. Also, once it's installed correctly, it requires 80 pounds of pulling power to remove it. So we feel this is a very good connector. To start off with, you want some basic tools before you start. Uh, the first thing I'd like to recommend is a multi-cable connector cutter. This is uh, part number 63020. It's made by Klein. It's a great, it's a great tool uh, for cutting around cable. The next thing you need is a good stripper. This happens to be the ICM strip tool. It's part number PSA 59-6. This particular strip tool has ball bearings. It comes with an extra set of blades. It has a fuel for cleaning up RG6. It does both RG59 and RG6 cable. Uh, and then we have the actual compression tool, the double bubble tool itself. It's a part number CB, uh, excuse me, CPL, CR, BC, and then you can pl uh, pick a color, green or blue or yellow for the handle. And then uh, lastly, the connector itself. So now let's go ahead and install the connector. First thing you want to do is prepare the cable correctly. I always like to uh, cut the cable first, square it off at the end. Then the next thing you want to do is grab the strip tool. Now one of the things I do in setting up my strip tool that you might like is I always add a piece of Velcro on the top of it. This gives you the ability to comb the braid down instead of having to always use your fingers. So once you've got your strip tool set up, make sure you have it set on, in this case, uh, RG59 cable. You insert the cable into the strip tool. You turn it twice to three times forward, two to three times back. Remove the outer jacket and you're left with the braid and the center conductor. The next thing you want to do is comb down the braid. You want to expose the dielectric. And then at the safety margin, I would just check it with my fingers just to make sure that all the braids are down and you have none touching the center conductor. If any of the braids touch the center conductor, you're going to short your cable and you're not going to have a clear view on your cameras. So once you have the cable correctly prepared, the next thing you want to do is install the connector. Another reason why these connectors are so nice, there's no blind spot. There's no way of missing where the center pin is installed. There is a fuel right at the end that allows you to put that center pin right in the cup. Once you have it uh, in the cup, all you have to do is push the cable forward until the pin pokes out on the top. I don't know if you can see that, but it's right, right there at the top where you want it. Once you have the cable inserted into the connector, you simply grab the tool, pull the jaws back, insert the, con the connector into the tool so it seats into the cup like that. Then you just merely pull the lever forward, compressing the connector onto the cable, remove the jaws, and you're complete. This completes a great BNC connection using the new double bubble 360 compression connector. You can see there's a 360 um, compression around the back of the cable. Not an octagon familiar with uh, a crimp connector. So you're going to get a much better seal. You're going to eliminate moisture from getting in the connector. And you've got 80 pounds of pressure holding that connector onto the cable. So this is a great uh, way to upgrade your tools and your connectors from crimp to uh, compression, uh, especially for the commercial installers. We hope you enjoyed this lesson today. And we thank you for visiting us here at CableGiant.com. Thank you.